A real life robot battle at the DARPA Robotics Challenge this weekend. Which robot came out on top? Hey guys, this is Annie, guest hosting for DNews. Over the weekend, I headed out to the DARPA Robotics Challenge at Homestead Miami Speedway in Florida. The challenge is sponsored by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and features 17 teams from across the world in a range of humanoid, quadruped, and hexapod robots, all designed for disaster response. Some teams had built the robots themselves, others built software only, and some did a mix of both. The prize? Continued funding from DARPA to continue their projects through 2014. Some of these robots you might recognize, like Valkyrie from NASA is Johnson Space Center, described as a superhero robot, 6'2", 125 kilograms, and built for space travel. Also from NASA was Robo Simeon, inspired by a chimp with versatile limbs and detachable hands. One of the more you know, obvious aspects of this robot is that it actually has four limbs and stands on the ground quadrupedally. Uh, every one of these limbs is identical, and it's capable of being used for both moving around and also for manipulating things. Also making an appearance were a few from Boston Dynamics' well-known robot zoo, Cheetah, a runner that's reached speeds of 28 miles an hour in the past, and the LS3, the four-legged workhorse with a strong sense of balance. Their Atlas robot competed in the trials as well. But while the demos and showcases look to a future where robots can take on dangerous tasks, they also showed the realities of robotics today, that success happens pretty slowly. The challenges, navigating rough terrain, climbing a ladder, using a valve, happen only with a lot of trial and error and with vigilant humans the controls. And the big winner? Team Shaft, a Japan-based company whose bipedal robot of the same name destroyed the competition with 27 of 32 points. Shaft, as well as Boston Dynamics, was acquired by Google earlier this year. There's more work to be done before we'll see robots charging into burning buildings, but judging from the excitement in the air and the crowds cheering them on, it's a very exciting prospect for many. As always, you can get in touch with the show on Twitter or Facebook at DNews and with me at Annie Gauss. Thanks for watching and see you next time.